What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, uh, I normally don't want to talk about Soul Keep just because we haven't gotten much or there hasn't been much information. But in last night's town hall, uh, there was confirmation from Investigator that the team is close to starting testing on it, internal testing. I don't know what that'll entail. I don't know how much time it's going to take. But for all the people out there who, you know, were thinking that this this project was just completely dead in the water, hopefully that will give you some kind of indication that it is not right at, at the very least. So for those of you who are, you know, somewhat bullish or excited about the project, or maybe last night's uh, last night's revelation will be something that is of interest to you and get you back into the mix. Something that I thought was worth mentioning is the return you get currently on holding the soul keep packs or the nightmare packs i should say and the nightmare packs are like the first edition of packs that are available for the soul keep game so you can see here on the secondary market on hive engine you can grab them for uh as low as a dollar 61 right now and keep in mind these things were sold for like five blood five bucks five bucks is what i meant to say plus uh plus a voucher at a certain point in time the, they are not available for sale from the store anymore. There's only about 357,000 of them in existence. And if you, uh, I ran the math already. So at $1.61, if you were to buy one at $1.61, I'm currently receiving 0 0.08 SPS per pack that I am holding, uh, that, that I'm just holding in my accounts. So I'm receiving that every single day. That 0 0.08, if I multiply it by 1.5 cents for SPS, and I, I'm, I'm kind of like being conservative here because SPS is obviously a little bit higher than 1.5, but just at the 1.5 cent range for SPS, uh, that returns you 27% in terms of an APR. So this is not investment advice. This is not an investment channel. But if you are interested in grabbing packs and you believe, uh, you know, you believe that the game will come out at some point in the future and are confident in what the team is trying to say, then there is some value in holding these packs right now or potentially grabbing these packs. Now, that being said, I already own a bunch of packs. I'm not going out there and buying more packs. And this is not a play to get people to buy packs. There's no benefit to me, right? Because I'm holding these packs. I'm, I don't plan on selling. I'm just going to hold them and wait for the game to come out. But in the meantime, as we look at a couple of different places for you to kind of put your assets in terms of an earnings perspective, right? You have, uh, you can stake SPS. You can um, use the, the LPs. All of those are kind of around, you know, a lot of the LPs are probably in the 20-30% the range. Well, you can also do that or get a similar return holding tower defense packs. And keep in mind that if SPS does go up, I mean, even if SPS were to jump from, you know, one and a half cents to three cents, that APR for while you're holding essentially doubles as well if you do get the packs at the dollar sixty-one range. So, um, you know, as we go through and, and look around, I guess they don't have the, uh, the pack price here for Hive Engine. But that's fine. You can see here what's currently available. And um, yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of where things are. At. I, I am feeling much more confident with the team talking a little bit more publicly about tower defense now. Before it had been, you know, so much like, you know, we, we don't know what was going on is essentially what it was. We knew that something happened with Double Coconut. The team was bringing the code in and there was just you know, a, a lot of question marks about it. But investigator coming onto the town hall yesterday saying that they are planning to, you know, start internal testing soon. For me, again, look, look at land. Testing could take a long time, right? If you just take a look at land. So I I don't even know that we're going to get, you know, it, it anytime soon. My hope, and uh, again, this is just my hope, not any kind of, you know, prediction or, or you know, inside information. My hope is that we do get to see it sometime this year. And I know there's only about three and a half months left. And I think those months are going to be filled with a lot of land as well as potentially rebellion now, which is uh, almost if pretty much confirmed at this point to be out by the end of this year. Hopefully there'll be a little space there for uh, Tower Defense or for Soul Keep. And so I'm just excited. I'm holding my packs. Uh, I will say that I may buy a little bit more, but at this point, I'm, I'm kind of good with what I have, and uh, we'll see where it's at. But I thought I'd share that with you guys. And also, because I, I haven't really talked about tower defense, I, I just want to get the take the general temperature of the room in terms of how people are feeling about it. I know there's frustration, but did last night's revelation from Investigator about the internal testing, did that change your opinion in any way? Are you feeling any better about it? Do you have any predictions or thoughts on when it might come in? Do you agree or disagree with me that there's a chance or would like to see it, hopefully, by the end of the year? Would love to get your thoughts on this. 
Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.